So let, let me show you some things I have here. These are hemp seeds, right? I say, I think we got a hippies in the crowd. I got to be careful with the hemp thing, you know. We'll get it's all right. We're not going to get a little wacky here tonight. But these are hemp seeds. They're good sources of fats, right, and protein. Um, these are flax seeds. They're good sources of fiber, fats, you know. This is, here's a site, nuts.com, right? That's where this came from. This is raw, ground up chocolate beans. That's what this is. Um, this is almond milk. This is um, organic coconut milk, right? Um, I love coconut milk. It makes things creamy. And if, do you like the flavor of coconut? If you like the flavor of coconut, you know, there's a lot of, most, when you start eating this way, there's a lot of coconut in recipes. So um, this is coconut, this is spinach, this is hemp powder. Where do you get these things? Uh, this says right on it, Vitacost. So this is from Vitacost website. Showed up at my house magically. Um, so let me show you how I would make some of this stuff. And normally I make single portions, so I always have to just sort of adapt to, to do this. And we have little cups here, so I'm going to let you try this stuff. If you want to just taste almond milk, if you've never tasted almond milk, Nancy, could you... Here's little cups. You can taste it. Does anybody want to taste almond milk? You like it? Good. All right. Thank you. So uh, this is spinach, and I'm going to take spinach, and I'm going to dump it in there. And that's like a good bit of spinach, isn't it? I don't know. A couple cups of spinach, right? And let's take some avocado, because avocado is really, really healthy. And what does avocado do for my smoothie? It makes it creamy, right? And it gives me some healthy, good fats because my brain needs fats. So we'll take some avocado and we'll dump it in there. Right? Put a half of one in there. We'll see how that goes. Um, maybe we'll throw a little bit of hemp protein in there just to give it a little bit more protein. There you go. And we're going to put some uh, chocolate in here. So this is just ground up chocolate beans. It's not sweetened, right? So what do you think? I like this brand better than the other brand. I forget what the name of the other brand is. What's the difference between chocolate beans and what you know like cocoa powder? Yeah, yeah, just to... This is, you can buy this like raw and organic. I don't know exactly the processing of cocoa powder, to be honest with you. Maybe they do nothing to it, but uh, probably they do something to it. Um, Will that cocoa powder dissolve in the um, Yeah, it'll just, it'll milk. just all mix up in there. I know in the blender, but what about just in the glass of the spoon? Um, so this is how I make hot chocolate for my kids. I take um, raw milk and that and some xylitol and put it on the stove and slowly heat it up and when you heat it up it sort of dissolves it and mixes it. If you just try to take that and put it into cold water or milk it doesn't really doesn't really work. So what have I put in here? I put some avocado in here, I put some spinach in here, look I got green stuff in there, right? Put some hemp powder in there, I put some chocolate stuff in here, I got ice, put some ice in here I bought some bananas. My bananas are, my bananas are um, kind of thawing out in there. So what about water? Aren't you glad that they fluorinate your water for you so your teeth last? Isn't that wonderful? Say not. Hey, I've read articles where they want to just put Lipitor in our water because we all need a little bit of it. So if they just started putting it into our public water systems, then we'd all get it. I know my bananas are looking a little brown. They didn't look. So at my house, what we do is we just buy bananas and peel them and put them into here and throw them in the freezer. So there's always like lots of frozen bananas. And they don't look brown like this, but just in a few hours, they turn brown. So this is reverse osmosis water. So that's... I have a reverse osmosis system at my house to get the chlorine and the fluoride out of my water because I'm risky and I want to run the risk of my teeth falling out. Huh? Well, water 
Yeah, it'd be be a lot better than city water. So be, we're going to put some stevia in there to sweeten it up a little bit. Might need a little bit more banana in there. We'll find out. So I just, because I'm going to make like a really a lot of this, I'm going to use like maybe a thimble and a half of that in there. Oh yeah, I forgot my apron. Look at this. I thought this would be fancy. I get no money from uh, Vitamix, but they are my favorite mixer. I thought I would look cool if I did this. I like to look cool. Uh-oh. Did I light up? Uh-oh, we didn't check that. There we go, I got power. It's kind of a brown green, that nice brown green color. There we go. I'll test this on myself and see. I drank one of these earlier today. I don't, see, I, I got no emotional attachment to the color of my food. I know for some people that I could care less. It doesn't. I think that's pretty good.